everyone. Welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love, the self-love makeover artist, and I teach beautiful, soulful women on their self-love journey, how to love themselves, trust their intuition, and manifest their heart's true desires. Now today, I want to take a moment to talk to you about your dreams, because I know a lot of you are feeling right now that, you know, maybe they're not going to plan and fear and doubt is setting in. And I want to let you know that if your dream is truly important enough to you, you will never ever give up on it. Why? It's probably because you've got this little internal dialogue with yourself, which is your higher self speaking to you. And it's like, if you fall over, it's like, get back up, pick yourself back up, you know? And that is a truly beautiful thing. So whether you were trying to like manifest a new partner, a new business venture, um, new friends, or you want to find a new yoga studio, whatever that is for you, don't ever give up on it. And there comes a point where you have this unwavering knowing that you're going to get exactly what you want and you're literally feeling the emotions associated with it as if you've already got it. But then sometimes you're not in your power and the fear and the doubt starts to seep in and you're like, it's never gonna come, why isn't this working? You know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're anything like me, I know you probably had your fair share of tears recently. It's probably to do with the astrological events that are going on. But I just wanted to let you know, if your dream is so important to you, you will not let rejection or fear or um, divine timing, because you know sometimes we're like, I want it now. But Oh, I just heard that song. I want it all. I want it all. I want it all. I want it all. Oh, I, lo I went to see that musical. We were rocky like five times when I lived in London. Anyways, so I'm getting sidetracked. So I just wanted to remind you that your dreams are important. And if you literally know without a doubt that you're gonna get everything that you ever want, it is on its way to you. Do not give up hope. I want to share something really beautiful with you that my mom actually gave me when I first moved out of home back in um, 2008. She gave me this, and this literally made me cry this morning. So I just wanted to share it with you. She gave me this. That's me, by the way, <laughs> says my beautiful daughter. It's just a cute little thing and it says, you are a shining example of what a daughter can be. Loving and compassionate, beautiful and good, honest and principled, determined and independent, sensitive and intelligent. You are a shining example of what every parent wishes their daughter were. And I am so very proud of you. So I saw that and I was like, oh, don't ever give up Mel. And then my mum, wrote this. Mom, I hope you don't mind me sharing <laughs> your handwriting with everybody. I'll read it to you. It says, to my darling Mel, never forget your dreams. Love you heaps and heaps, Mom. And it just was like a reminder to be like, you know, sometimes things don't turn out the way that we want, but it is divinely orchestrated. And I know I talk about this all the time, but sometimes we just need to like, trying to like go within. So what I did this morning when I was feeling a little bit like, <laughs> why is this happening kind of thing, I took myself to the beach, which is my happy place, which grounds me and centers me. And I was like walking along and I had the Abraham Hicks financial abundance meditation on and I was like, okay, yep, cool. But I wasn't feeling it. So the moment I put my, my feet in the water, I had like cosmic download after download. I had like three cosmic downloads, which is, what spiritual people kind of refer to as like insight from your higher self, your angels, divine guidance, Jesus, God, whatever you want to call it. And it's like you get these messages because sometimes we stray from, I don't know, fear just kind of just creeps in. And yeah, it was a good reminder today. It's like, ground yourself, Mel ground yourself. And so what I was listening to this morning when I got home was Unstoppable from Sia.
Now you can actually find that in our MK Love Fam playlists that are on Spotify. There's three of them. I'll link it down below. They're also on my website too, melaniekatelove.com. And so I was just listening to that and I was like, okay, I'm stepping back into my power again. And so sometimes we have to remove ourselves from a situation where our thoughts just kind of take over and you're just like, shut up, like just shut up. And, and it's just like, no, you can just go over there. And it actually reminds me of, um, from Big Magic from Elizabeth Gilbert who wrote Eat, Pray, Love, and she talks about fear. And she says, like, fear can come on a road trip with you. And that we are so excited that fear is coming with us. But you're going to sit in the back seat. You do not have the right to sit in the front seat. You cannot drive. You cannot touch the stereo. You can come, and we are so grateful for you here. But that is it. Put your seatbelt, buckle up, enjoy the ride. Look out the window. You know, and she also speaks about fear, saying like fear is a beautiful thing and we need to acknowledge fear when it comes up. Because I know some of you are probably being like, Mel, I want a husband. Mel, I want this job. Mel, I want for financial abundance, you know? And it's like, it's all coming to you. It honestly is. You literally have to talk to your fear, like in a very assertive, stern way and be like, Thanks so much for coming, Fia. I love you, I love you, I love you. Thank you so much for trying to have my back, but I've got it from here, you know? So sometimes we need to speak to Fia like that. So I just wanted to jump in today and to let you know, don't you ever give up on your dreams. Now, my loves, to help you on your self-love journey, you can jump over to my website, melaniekatelove.com, or there's a link in the description. I've actually created for you a self-love starter kit, which will totally help you out in this situation. I was literally listening to um, the Morning Mindset audio, which is like a 14 minute, I think it's 14 minutes and 14, 14 seconds, um, guide, oh, not guide meditation. Um, what do you call it? Yeah, morning mindset. So it's kind of like affirmations to reprogram your subconscious. And then after that, I was like, oh, I feel so much better. Um, so there's three things that I can teach you to get you started or to help you along your self-love journey. And it's the morning mindset audio. I also have a five minute to bliss guided meditation. You know, just those moments where you're just like, oh, I feel so overwhelmed. And you, you're literally at work and you've only got five minutes in between. Listen to that. Then I have a self-love practices workbook to help you work out what does self-love look like to you? Like for me, mine's going to the beach, you know, singing, singing. Oh, I love singing. It's one of my favorite things. And for a very long time, this is a little personal story. I would never sing in front of anybody, let alone to you guys around the world. Like that just blows my mind. So it's so interesting to see the contrast where you're like out of alignment and fear setting in and doubt and you're just like, uh, I'm a failure. Where's my husband or where's this job? And it's like, no, it's coming. But if you're feeling those thoughts, you're literally like taking detour after detour. It's like, just go downstream, just surrender to the process and the universe will guide you to exactly where you need to go. So my loves, that's my little two cents worth today. I just wanted to let you know that you are fabulous, you're wonderful, you're creative, you are beautiful, and you are unique. And when you close a gap of resistance, you vibrate on the frequency of love, the most beautiful place to be, which is where you manifest your heart's true desires. It's as simple as that. So my loves, thank you so much for watching. Comment below and let me know what has fear done for you recently and how, how are you coping with it? Because I would love to hear from you. If you've got any other fabulous strategies that you would love to share, please let me know. I'm always open to new strategies to you know expand my self-love journey. Just want to remind you to have an amazing day with everyone in the world. I love you, I love you, I love you. And love heals all blockages. Goodbye, my loves. Thank you.